In this tutorial we're going to learn to create a quiz result slide in Articulate Storyline. When you create quiz questions in Storyline you can provide immediate feedback as a consequence of making a decision. But when you have multiple quiz questions you need to create a result slide so that you can show the result of all the quiz questions together. So I'll show you an example of this and then we'll actually do that in our practice activity. So right now we have the beginning of a quiz so I'll hit begin. One of the things I'll point out is that while you're working in Storyline you can create your quiz questions to look any way you want to. So in this particular case we have a custom look on our quiz question. Going to make a decision here. I'm going to hit submit. I get my feedback and again this is a custom feedback layer. I'll hit next question. I come in here. Again it looks a little bit different. I'll make a decision. Hit submit. I get my feedback. And now that I've gone through the quiz questions I want to produce a results slide that will show me the score of all the questions together. So I hit finish and this takes me to a custom results slide. And As you can see it reports my results, gives me some information and I can also review the quiz. Now let's go ahead and see what it takes to build a results slide. Let's take a look at our practice file. The first thing you'll notice I have three scenes and inside of each scene I created three quiz questions. So what we want to do is create a result slide for those quiz questions. So let's say you go through scene one, you take these three quiz questions. You're going to get your feedback during the quiz questions but when you're done with all three of them I want to give you a result slide to say here's your total score for all those quiz questions. The way I do that is I just select my scene. I'm going to go over to Insert, New Slide. And then if I go to the Quizzing tab and go over here at the end to Results Slides, you'll see that I've got a few Results Slide templates. We're just going to choose the Graded Results Slide. So select that, hit Insert. And now what we have is the Results Slide Properties window. And what you can see is if we scroll down, it's showing us all of the questions that we have in our course. And then it's also selecting the questions in that scene. So it assumed that because I clicked on that scene it's going to automatically include all of the questions. And then I can determine which questions I want to select. So in this case I may select all of them. I may select one. I can also select other quiz questions in the course if that makes sense to me. We're just going to select all of the questions in this scene and we're going to stick with the defaults. Uh, one thing I'll point out is if you go to Options you can see that you have some choices in terms of what you want to report uh, to the user on the results slide. And again, we'll just keep everything as a default. So we'll hit OK. And what you can see is that Storyline created this results slide. By default, it's going to pull in the blank slide. So if we double click on that, you can see it's a pretty plain slide. Uh, let's see what we have. All this stuff here, if I select it, this is just text on a screen so I can move that around and do whatever I want to just like I would any slide in Storyline. If you look at the slide layers you're going to have a success slide layer and you're going to have a failure slide layer. and It's essentially this information here. And then you can customize that and make that look any way you want as well. We're going to go to the results slide here. And let's apply a custom layout. For this practice activity I created some custom layouts. So let's go to Home. And we're going to go up to the slide layouts here. And you can see I created like a blue scene results slide layout. So go ahead and apply that. And then you can see I've got my layout. Now I can customize this and do whatever I want to. In this case, I'm just going to delete this blue line. And I'm going to nudge the quiz results button over here. If I want to do more work, I can do it because this is just a slide and I can do whatever I want to on that slide. So now we have our custom results slide for this scene. Let's go ahead and preview this and see what it looks like. So we're going to come up here. We're going to preview this scene. Here's our quiz slide. So I can just make some decisions. Really doesn't matter what I click on. We'll make some decisions and we'll click here. Make another decision and you can see now I have my results slide. So it's giving me my score. It's telling me what the passing score was. I didn't pass so it's showing me the, the you did not pass slide layer. And then if I want to review the quiz I can click on that and then you can see it's showing me which answers were correct and what my choice was. Go through. This was incorrect. And then this was correct. So that's basically how the results slides work. So if we come back to that results slide 
Again, the success or failure layouts were built for you and you just have to move those around and customize them, do whatever you want to. Let's go ahead and create result slides for the other scene. So let's go to story view. We're going to click on this scene. We'll do the same thing. So I'm going to go to insert, new slide. I'll just choose result slide. You can see it's going to select the green ones. I'll hit OK. And then I'm, I've got this. I can double click on it. Uh, we're going to go ahead and apply the green result slide that I created. So you've got that. Uh, we'll nudge this over. Let me show you an uh, extra tip here. So see I have the line here. I can click and drag the line or if I double click on the shape you can see it's going to give me my size. And so this is something we haven't covered in the other tutorials. But I can, I can manually type in my size. So I can type in 350 and now I've got a line that's 350 and I can nudge that into play. So if you want a really precise size you can do that so you get your width and height. So we'll keep that fine for this result slide. Let's do the last scene. So we're going to come over here. We're going to go to insert, new slide. We'll do a result slide. Hit OK. It's selected our questions where everything's default so we're going to be happy with that. And then let's double click on this and we'll just apply that layout just so it looks a little different. And again you can customize this any way you want to. So now what we have is each scene has a result slide unique to that scene. Now we can figure out well how do I report that to my learning management system. And you have a few ways to report the results. One way is that you can report your quiz questions. So I can create a result slide and select quiz questions that I want to report. The other option is I can create a result slide that tracks all the result slides and then reports that. So let me show you how we do those two things. So we're going to create a new scene that's going to be our quiz scene. So just come up here to new scene. We'll title it and we'll call it quiz. I'm going to click on the scene and I'm going to create another result slide. So go to insert, new slide. We'll choose result slide. In this case we're going to track questions. So you can see I'm selecting questions and it's just going to give me a list of all the quiz questions that I have in Storyline. So this is no different than the other result slides we created. Now in this case I may only want to track certain questions. So let's say I'm just going to track the last question in each scene. So I select those, select my scoring, hit OK. And now I have a custom result slide that's tracking quiz questions. And I'm going to title this just so we can do that. So we'll say questions. And we're going to create another result slide. So I have three result slides here. Why not just create a result slide that tracks the result slides. So instead of tracking quiz questions I would track result slides. So I'm just going to insert another result slide. So we'll go to insert, new slide, choose result slide. If you come up here to the top you'll notice it says selected questions. We're going to choose result slides. So now at this point it's going to display all the result slides that I have in my course. And I'm just going to say I want to track all of the result slides. So instead of having to click every question I can say I'm just going to track the result slides. I'll hit OK. And now I have a result slide based on the aggregate of the result slide. So two ways to approach it. One way is you can track your quiz questions throughout your course. Another way is you can track the result slides that you have in your course. Now when you're ready to publish your course you need to determine what do I want to push to my LMS. So do I want to track quiz questions or do I want to track the result slides. It really doesn't matter it's just based on what your needs are. So now we're going to publish. So we're going to go to up to the preview button and you can see you have your publish option. So when you publish you can see you've got a few tabs here. We'll choose LMS. And one of the things you can do is if you come down here you have output options. So you can see you can choose your LMS tracking options. And then you have your reporting and tracking button. So click on that. Now at this point it's got this information. You can fill that in. What we want to do is click on the tracking tab. Now you've got a couple things you can do. You can track the slides viewed or you can track your quiz results. So when we select that you can see that Storyline is going to display every result slide that you created. So you can track individual result slides from a scene if you want to do that. Or like in this case here's the result slide that tracked 
different questions throughout the course. And then here's a results slide that actually tracked all the results slides together. Really doesn't matter what approach you want to take, it's just based on your needs. But at the end, you're going to have a results slide. We're just going to choose the bottom one. And then I hit OK. And so it's going to report at SCORM 1.2 in this case. And it's showing me that it's tracking 4.3 as a results slide. And then I hit Publish. I'll get my SCORM package and I can upload that to my learning management system. So that's basically it. When you create quiz questions, you can give feedback through your questions. But if you want to give feedback and show results for all of those questions together, then you need to create a custom results slide. And you can see how easy it is. And then when you do your tracking, you can determine how you want to report that. Do you want to report the tracking of quiz questions? Or do you want to report the tracking of a combined results slides? And now it's just a matter of you practicing this activity. And then when you build your next e-learning course to add some quiz questions and some results slides.